Hey guys, um, this is going to be a bit of a messy video. Um, I'm really just using my phone here. I just wanted to share um, just a few real quick thoughts on Richard Roundtree. So um, if anyone's uh, read the news or anything like that lately, um, we, we lost a uh, pioneer, a uh, giant of uh, not just uh, black cinema or black exploitation, but just film itself. Uh, Richard Roundtree uh, died of pancreatic cancer um, just late last night. Uh, he was 81 years old. He died in his home. Um, dude was shaft. He was shaft. Um, that's, you know, the, the movie he made his debut in. Um, the first time I, I saw shaft, I, I must have been like maybe 12 or 13. Um, at the time, um, I want to say that I was still young enough that I was still naive to the whole idea of racism and systematic racism and understanding, you know, seeing powerful uh, black faces and uh, black people uh, in media. Uh, so seeing uh, Shaft and, and Richard Roundtree, um, you know, seeing him was was powerful, but I didn't really understand his impact until maybe uh, a few years later when I was in high school and I was starting to get really into um, black cinema and Spike Lee and John Singleton and Gordon Parks and uh, all those names, uh, Melvin Van Peoples, um, you know, and that's when I started to understand how important Richard Roundtree was and Shaft as, uh, as, a, as a towering figure. Um, but uh, I thought, even when I was a kid, that Shaft was the coolest motherfucker in the room. I always re remember the line of uh, him saying, uh, why don't you quit playing with yourself, Willie? You ain't going to do shit. Uh, that, that line always kills me. Uh, but, but Shaft is a, a groundbreaking uh, motion picture. Uh, then, you know, we had the sequels, uh, Shaft's Big Score and Shaft in Africa. Uh, I always had a lot of fun uh, with those movies, even though they, they weren't as good or they had the, the major impact that Shaft had. But, um, you know, Richard Roundtree was also in Roots. It seemed like every major uh, black actor or black actress was in Roots. Uh, but, you know, he had a long career that spanned decades, and it seemed like he was in everything. And um, he was just everywhere. And I just always appreciated seeing him pop up because he was Shaft. So anytime I would see him uh, on, on a particular property, I'd be like, hey, it's Shaft! Uh, but yeah, uh, Richard Roundtree uh, was just amazing. He was just cool. Uh, I do remember there was an episode of Rock. If anyone remembers the old Charles S. Dutton uh, TV show on Fox, uh, Richard Roundtree was a guest on that show. And I, I remember, I think he came out as homosexual, which was a big deal. Um, not just in the 90s, but in, in black media itself. Um, but, I mean, you know, he, he was a pioneer. Like I said, Richard Roundtree was, was a pioneer. He um, just was a, a major uh, figure for black voices, uh, civil rights. Uh, you know, seeing him in um, the Shaft, the new Shaft movies with uh, Sam Jackson was great. Um, and, and, you know, again, just having someone that... Uh, that represents uh, black voices, strong male black voices, uh, being someone who's a positive role model for uh, black men was just something um, that, that I'm sure that he didn't take for granted. I, I didn't take for granted, and I don't think uh, a lot of the black community took that for granted either. But um, yeah, I want to just post this out. Um, this is just a celebration for Richard Roundtree. Uh, dude, you were a very important figure in my life. I'm sure you are for a lot of people's lives. Um, rest in power, dude. Uh, we all love you. Uh, I'm sure you're in a better place now. Take care.